Admission. 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 Dear ladies and gentlemen, I bring good news. Admission into the diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician EENU Mission Hospital is on. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhD, is an accredited tertiary institution that offers students a diploma degree to work in hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to promote safe and effective use of medicines at grassroot level. Graduates of Pharmacy Technician School EENU who wish to study pharmacy in the university can obtain direct entry into any university of their choice. The school has a well-equipped laboratory, comfortable hostel, and a healthy refectory. The requirements for admission are credit in English, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. In GCE. WAEC. NECO. NABTEB are not more than two sittings. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhD, is located at EENU Mission Hospital, Agidi, Anambra State. For more information, call 0803 708 1512, 0813 868 2003, 0803 267 5322. Diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician. A tradition of excellence. You are welcome to our online pharmaceutical calculations lecture series. Today we are going to take a look at pharmaceutical measurement part two. We have a question on the board. The question says a prescription balance has a sensitivity requirement of 0.006 gram. Explain how you would weigh. 0.012 gram of a drug with an error not greater than 5%. So, for us to take care of this question, we have to look at important parameters here. Sensitivity requirements and what? Acceptable error or the maximum error. The sensitivity requirement is 0.06 gram, while the maximum error is 5% of acceptable error. Now, one thing we should determine is whether this prescription balance can actually weigh this 0.012 gram. But before we start, I want to convert these numbers in decimal fraction to common fraction. From there I will now convert them to what? Milligram. So we can easily use number because we are not using calculator. So the first thing to do is to do this conversion. Solution. Zero point there are one, we have one gram is equal to what? One thousand watts milligram. But we have that SR SR is equal to what? 0.006 gram. Remember that with this now we can convert this to common fraction by putting one here. Others will become what zero. So we don't have this. This will go. We don't have six over one thousand. If one gram is equal to one thousand milligram, therefore six gram over one thousand will be what? And six gram over six over one thousand gram will now be what? If you, if you cross multiply, okay, let okay, me come here. 6 gram over 1000 will now be how many what? How many what? Milligram, we don't know. X is now equal to what? We multiply. So S, X is now equal to what? 6 over 1000 gram. 6 gram over 1000 times what? 1000 what? Milligram. So at the end, 1000 milligram over what? 1 gram. At the end, we now have that this one will cancel one one time will cancel one time gram will cancel gram. So this is what? Six milligram. So sensitive requirement SR is equal to what? Six milligram. The, the second one is what? The weight we are told to weigh is 0 0.12. Us, using this, this method again, this 0 0.12 is certain as what? This over 1000. This will go times what? 1 is here, 12 times 1000. This will give us what? 12 watts milligram. So we are told to weigh what? 12 watts 
very good. So, having done this conversion, let's continue. So, SR, this thing, this one is the same thing as what? 6 milligram. This one is the same thing as what? 12 milligram. The same, same, same requirement is what? 6 milligram. There is a formula linking the same requirement and the maximum error or the acceptable error. The formula says that acceptable error, A or the maximum error, is equal to what? Sensitivity requirement over what? Least weighable weights times what? 100 percent. This is the acceptable error, maximum error balance. This is the sensitivity requirement of the balance, and this is the least weighable weights. I call it L W. That is the least weights that is weighable using this prescription and balance. So we are going to use this formula to determine our L W. So L W is equal to what? Is equal to what? S R over what? A B times what? 100%. This is now equal to what? Remember our SR is 6 mg. 6 mg over what? AE is 5%. 6 mg over what? 5% times what? 100%. Percent. percent will cancel percent. 5 will cancel divide 100. We have 20. 6 mg times 20, we have 120 watts mg. So the least weighable weight of this balance is what? 120 mg. So our LW, our LW is what the words? 120 mg. SR is already here, so no uniting it again. SR is 6 mg. The weight, this weight weight is 12 mg. Take a look at this. The, 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 least way, the least weight you can weigh using this prescription balance is 120 mg. But we are told to weigh 12 mg. 12 mg is way, way, way less than 120 mg. About tenfold less than 120 mg. So what do we do? Because it means that you cannot weigh this weight using this prescription balance directly. What do we do? So the only way we do it, we can weigh it indirectly using a method we call what aliquot method of what weighing aliquot method of what weighing in aliquot method of weighing it, you, you we take the following steps the first step to take the first step to take using the aliquot method of weighing is first of all to fix arbitrary because we cannot weigh this thing directly we cannot weigh this thing what the, the directly. So we fix arbitrary weights for the drug. A weight that should be less than so that should be equal to this 120 milligram or above 120 milligram. Equal to 120 milligram or a bit above what 120 what milligram equal to 120 mg or a bit above what 120 mg don't don't fix a way that is far far above 120 mg because if you fix it by the end you may end up wasting what materials now let's go let's fix the word arbitrary weight i call it aw arbitrary weight aw i will choose to let me fix arbitrary weight to be what 120 mg i will choose to it, for my AW to be what? 120 mg. I can choose 120 mg. It's okay. But let me choose 120 mg. Now, having chosen 120 mg, the next step is to do what? Determine the dilution factor. Determine the dilution factor. You want to determine the dilution factor, you divide because you're, you're, you're able to dilute this arbitrary weight. So, we are at the dilution factor is determined by what? Dividing the least weighable weight by the weight you are told to do what? Weigh. So my dilution factor DF is equal to what? Least weighable weight over the weights you are told to do what? Weigh. The weight you are told, the least weighable weight is what? 120 milligram. Over the weight you are told to weigh is what? Is what? Is what? 12 what? Milligram. Divide it, we have what? 10. So my dilution factor is 10. Sometimes dilution factor can be in 
a fraction. But for you to be on the on the safe side, to avoid unnecessary fraction, unnecessary handling fraction up and down, you can move it to the nearest what whole number upward to the nearest whole number upward. And you see, if you have like two point six, you can make it three. Even if you have two point one, you can still make it what three. Don't use two because if you use two, it may it may fall back to what is less than the what. This way, go with Even with two point one, you can make it three. For example, now if it is one ten point one, you can make it eleven. Just something like that. Now, with this now, I've, I've determined my what direction factor, which is ten. Now, the next step is to do what? Look, wait, look for the extent of dilution. Extent of what? Dilution. I call it AD. Extent of what? Dilution. Extent of dilution. So now, the extent of dilution, you multiply this arbitrary weight by what? Dilution factor. My extent of what? Dilution is, is what? Arbitrary weight times what? Dilution what? Factor. So this will now give me what? And my arbitrary weight is 120 milligram times dilution factor, which is 10. And this will give me what? 1,200 watts milligram. My extent of dilution is what? 1,200 milligram. So this is, this extent of, this extent of the, the dilution is where you dilute it to. And inside this extent, this extent of dilution contains the words, contains the words, the arbitrary weights you fixed, and the weight of the words, diluent. I will now call diluent weights as what? DW. Diluent weights is what? DW. Diluent weight, I will name it DW. DW is what? Diluent words. Wait, what you are going to use to dilute it? Now, dilute weight is DW. Now, remember this is the extent of dilution. Extent of dilution ED. Extent of dilution ED is equal to what? The arbitrary weights. E dot AW plus what? Dilute what? Weight. Extent of dilution is arbitrary weight you fix. Of course, this is the arbitrary weight of the word drop you fix. Arbitrary weight you fix plus what? Direct what? Weight. Or you can, you can still call this arbitrary weight of the drop as just the drop weight. But I know why I fixed the arbitrary because you just fixed it. Now, extent of dilution is what? Arbitrary weight plus direct weight. Now, what it implies is this. We want to know the direct weight. That implies that dilution to it is equal to what? Extent of dilution minus what? Arbitrary weights, which is what? Extent of dilution is 120, 1,200 milligram minus arbitrary weights, which is what? 120 watts milligram. So that means dilution to it is what? 120 milligram minus 1,200 milligram minus 120 milligram will give us what? If you take it, it will give us. Uh, 1080 watts milligram. Hope I'm right because 20 come here one. So it's 1080 milligram. 1080 milligram. This is our watts. SLM diamond to it. So we have arrived somewhere. So let's miss out everything we have we have we have we have discovered or calculated. Our LW is what? 120 milligram. Remember, LW is what? Least what? Weight or least weighable weight, which is what? 120 watts milligram. Our AW is what was? Arbitrary weight. Of the what? Draw, which is what? The same 120 watts. Remember, I decided to fix it at that place. ED is what? Extent of what? Dilution. 
which is what? 1,200 what? Milligram. Then our our DW is what? Diamond what? Weight, which is what? 1,080 watts milligram. As you can see now, the direction of direction or the direction of, 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 of the, the direction is what? 120 milligram plus 1,080 which is now 1,200 watts milligram. So I can clean everything. I have, I have this, there are mathematical relationships I, 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 I posted here, I wrote it before, I used it before. When I say it, that extent of dilution is equal to what? Arbitrary weight times what? Dilution factor. Remember our dilution factor, DF is equal to what? Our DF is equal to what? 10. And our DF, our DF is equal to what? Our arbitrary weight, which is AW, over what? Sorry, our DF is what? Least variable weights over the weight we over the, over the weight we are given. The weight we weigh. Remember what I told you that you have to approximate if the dilution factor is 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 if the dilution factor is a fraction. If the dilution factor is a fraction, you, you can approximate it upwards. Even if it's 10.1, you can approximate it up to the up to level to get a whole number. That is above, the, that will be something above the mixed wave weight. So these are the relationships I have established what so far. These are the relationships I have established so far. Now, having determined, having determined, having gotten to this level, we are will say that our remember, extent of dilution is equal to what? Arbitrary weight plus what? Plus what? Plus what? Direct what? Weight. Arbitrary weight plus what? Direct weight. So now the next thing is to do, having determined that if this was arbitrary weight plus direct weight, we have to do what? Let's, we have to determine the proportion. The proportion. We, we have to determine the adequate proportion or adequate, adequate proportion of this active ingredient in this extent of dilution or the, or the powder, final diluted powder mix. So for us to get extent, for us to get the adequate proportion of this, of this drug in this ED, we have to do what? Divide the ED by what? By the dilution factor. So we, we, the next thing we have to determine is what? Adequate proportion, AWA, AP. Adequate proportion is equal to what? ED divided by what? Dilution DF. ED divided by what? DF. Adequate proportion. There's no space again. Okay, okay. Adequate proportion. AP is equal to what? Adequate what? Proportion. Or adequate portion, at the case may be. Adequate portion. Proportion. Is equal to what? ED. Extent of dilution divided by what? Dilution what? Factor. Adequate portion is what? ED. Extent of dilution divided by what? Dilution factor. So having established that, we now continue. That adequate proportion here now, adequate proportion here now is equal to what? ED is what? Our ED is 1,200, right? Divided by what? Dilution factor, which is what? 10. Remember that this is also, this, uh, this, this 1,200, it is the same thing as, uh, so let me clean down here. Adequate proportion, adequate proportion 
is what it was. In the which is what? 1,200 over what? Direction factor which is 10. Is equal to what? ED is also remember, remember our ED is equal to what? Arbitrary weight plus the direct weight. Arbitrary weight is what? 120 milligram. 120 milligram plus what? Plus what? Direct to it. Direct. Plus what? Direct to what? Weight, which is what? 1080 what? Milligram. Remember, all over what? 10. This is step analysis because 120 milligram plus 1080 milligram is what? 120 what? Milligram. So if we divide this now, we have something like this. Then divide 120, we have what? 12 watts milligram. Plus what? Then divide 10, 180, we have 108 watts milligram. So this is the what? Aliquot portion, or proportion as the case may be, of this, of aliquot portion of this drug in this ED, that is diluted mix, diluted what mix or ED. Now, having determined this, this is this, this is now that the, this, the, 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 this is the proportion or the portion of this drug in this whole parameter. If you divide it by 10, of course, this whole thing will give you what 120 milligram. With this now, we can now explain, we have, you know, this question, you have the calculation part, and let's use the equation part. Now, let me now explain how you can do the what way. I can clean here now, because I, I have established my point here. Let me now explain how you can do what, do the what way. Let me now explain how you can do the what way. This 12 milligram plus 108 milligram is for the what? 120 milligram. Now, how do we now do, do, do the way? The first step is to do what? Having, having established this, the first step is to do what? Weigh, weigh, you weigh this arbitrary weight you we fixed, which is 120 milligram. You weigh 120 milligram of the what? Draw. Then dilute it with 1080 milligram of the words diluents. They didn't mention any of the diluents here, but the common diluent is lactose. So, but we just you see diluent, but nothing was mentioned. 1080 milligram of the diamonds weigh 120 milligrams of the drug, the arbitrary weights you fix, then dilute with dilute, dilute, sorry, dilute with dilute with 1080 milligrams of the what? Diamonds. Having done that, you mix them properly using the doubling up method. You mix them properly. Having mixed the, the whole thing, you now weigh 100 milligram dilute with this to obtain or to make anyone is okay to, to obtain or to make 1200 milligram of the words powder of the mix mix of words drug plus words dilute. This is the extent of our dilution we calculated. So having done that, having gotten to this level, you do what? You now weigh out 120 milligram of this mix. You now weigh out, weigh out again, 120 milligram of the what? Mix. This one, if you weigh out 120 milligram, so provided you mix them well, if you weigh out this 120 milligram of this mix, it will contain 12 milligram 
of the drug and one zero one oh eight milligram of the what diamonds. So one twenty milligram of this is what you weigh out. I think we'll stop here. So the first step is to do what? Weigh one twenty milligram of the drug, dilute with one thousand eight milligram of what diamonds, mixed properly using double knock method to make one thousand two hundred milligram of the mix, which is di drug and what diamonds. Then weigh 120 million of the mix. 120 million of the other powder mix contains 12 milligram of the what drug. And the remaining part is 108 milligram of the what direct. So this with this method, Alephot method, you can successfully weigh 12 milligram, even though it's less than the least weight two weeks of this prescription balance. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Thank you for watching our online lectures. For lecture updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is Susan Limited. Just click on the red button and click on the bell by the side so that you'll be among the first people to receive notification whenever we upload a new video please like and follow us on facebook the name is susan limited if you have any question please connect with us on whatsapp these are whatsapp numbers please visit our website the address is susanlimited.com you have a lot to learn. Please share this video, like and comment. Thank you for your support. God bless you.